To demonstrate the power of the derivative function and show off the new advanced CODES user interface, we'll take a look at some displacement data from a string pot. In this example, we'll use the derivative function to calculate both velocity and acceleration. We'll begin by taking the derivative of the displacement data on channel 1 and displaying the result in channel 2. Since a noisy input signal will be amplified when calculating the derivative, a smoothing factor is available. The smoothing factor acts as a filter. The higher or the greater the smoothing factor, the more filtering takes place. Since our input signal is pretty clean, we'll choose a smoothing factor of 9. As you can see, velocity is now displayed on channel 2. Now if we take the derivative of the velocity data and perform a derivative again, we can display acceleration. To do so, with the derivative tab still selected, we'll choose channel 2 as the input channel, channel 3 as the output channel, and keep a smoothing factor of 9. As you can see once again, acceleration data is now displayed in channel 3. Starting with just displacement data, using the derivative function, we were able to calculate both velocity and acceleration without ever leaving the WINDAC waveform browser.